Veterans Day is coming Monday, November 11th. It began in 1910 as Armistice Day after World War I. Later, it became a national holiday honoring all who served their country. Dan Cummins reports from White House, a community taking it to a whole new level. A guy from Georgia and I were standing in the back of our Jeeps and somebody took our picture and I sent it home to mom. And dad. Wayne King, and downtown awesome. White House, looks at his banner. The Vietnam Army vet among 30 flags on or near downtown, a salute to former, even current military. Six weeks ago, White House dedicating a beautiful Veterans Memorial Park, honoring those who gave their life for this country. The White House area is deep in history. The town was established in 1864. Of course, this local high school is named after a Revolutionary War hero, Anthony Wayne. Wayne King was drafted into the Army, served his country, proud to be involved in the project. People think about the freedoms they have and what they can do in this country um, compared to other parts of the world. Uh, uh, a lot of sacrifice, uh, time. In White House, where they're proud to be American, Dan Cummins, WTOL 11. Wow, a great way to remember our veterans and uh, the uh, sacrifices they made for each and one of us. Anything that we can do to give them mm -hmm. more honor there.